Okay, hey guys. So I'm doing a take two for this one because the last one I had some small other adjustments that I wanted to make. So, okay. So, uh, the biggest problem was with this one is this section here. Uh, right, so you see I have added like, uh, what do you call it? electrical tape? Electrical tape here. You see this? So what I did was I wrote it, uh, I just went around and around uh, with it till it got thick to the uh, the size of this hole. So before, when you put it in and then when you set it up, it, it moves this way. So now, so now if you see what I have done, so let's see. Oh, put this one here so now if you see oh also let me to show you I, I recommend you removing the the rubber feet from here just remove this leave this too and this too that's all and then make sure you uh, use like a, a damping tape oh, sorry not a damping tape a vibration damping tape there you go and just leave it so it doesn't scratch your uh, plastics uh, when you're using it uh, yeah so let's try it out okay so yeah if you see uh, this tape here it's perfectly sitting on the plastics now so it's not going to scratch so that's what I wanted to do so the only concern here is this here and then this here so this one this side for some reason <laughs> has a problem even if it's fully engaged so if I press it down here, the gap goes up here. If I press it down here, the gap doesn't go. So, okay. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, now, will I recommend this uh, to any of you? Hmm, it's a good question. If you really want a budget option, if you don't care about the gaps, if you don't care about any of the the spacing, the gaps, if your plastic's going to be your main plastic's going to be scratched, uh, I say yeah, go for it. But if you are a person like me, who who likes everything to be like uh, original, you know, then this is not for you. So. I actually got this uh, for someone uh, on the comment. I saw he commented like three, four times saying he wants me to do a review for the uh, the pillion uh, seat call. So yeah, it looks good to be honest. Mm. I went with the carbon fiber cowl because I want to I'm getting rid of this one. This is not uh, original carbon fiber. So this is not going to be stick. And then when I can find the uh, original carbon fiber, I'll replace this one, I'll replace this one. Uh, and then I'll replace this one. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to go full carbon fiber, but I want to have some carbon accents though. Maybe, maybe if, if I can find for this one also, I'll definitely change, the, change it to carbon fiber too. So yeah. My bike is covered in dust a bit, so what I'm going to do is wipe it. Oh man, this dust. <laughs> it's never ending, dude. Mm. Yeah, so this is how I normally, this is my daily routine when I see dust on the bike. I go through the bike and I clean it. I love to detail though, that's something that I love to do.
Whew. Yeah, I need to start the bike. I haven't started the bike. Uh, when did I go last time? When did I? Right, it was, ooh, it was last Saturday. Was it last Saturday? Yeah, it was last Saturday, yeah. Let's start the bike. It has been, this has been parked inside my house for so long. <laughs> A week again, dude. A week again. <sighs> Can't do this, man. Can't do this. I need to find time to ride because I I am normally free on weekends, you know, Saturdays. But today it's a Friday, and see the club. It's it's nice and clear. But what time is it now? It's one thirty one one p.m. As soon as it hits around four, it's going to get dark and it's just going to pull. Okay, so let's see the bike. Okay, the battery looks good. If the battery is bad, you will get this icon. That means it's under the vault, uh, the battery. So you have to change it or you have to get it charged.
I think that's it guys. So yeah. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me anything. Bye.